This is BZH coming here from Big Zach's house. So tonight I want to talk about the Sony XAVC and Sony XAVCS formats. So my channel features action cams, so I would have to say that the first action cam to support the XAVC format, which came out on October 30th, 2012, is the Sony HDR AS100. So the most important thing is that the XAVC format features 4K resolution for filming. So the HDRS100 featured 4K filming for the Sony action cams, which puts it in direct competition with the GoPro. So with that being said, this format has come a long way since October 30, 2012. So there is a new XAVC-S format that you can film with Sony cameras that came out on April 7th, 2013. So that being said, we have the 4K Sony action cam. This is the FDR-X1000. So this action cam can film in 4K, it has a higher resolution and is better than the XAVC format and films much better than the HDRS100. So the XAVC-S format is gonna film in 4K, but at a higher resolution and more megabytes per second than the XAVC. So, what is the difference between the two? There's a huge difference. The Sony 4K is in direct competition with the new GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition, which has incredible 4K footage. So the best thing is the XAVCS format allows a higher megabytes per second, better 4K resolution. I'm impressed so far with filming with my new 4K action cam. So now we ask ourselves, what do you need? to film in XAVC, XAVC-S. So the first thing is that a lot of the memory cards I've seen on the market are SDHC. So with the H or with the Sony XAVC-S format, you cannot use an SDHC memory card. You need to get an SDXC memory card which I have to use micro for these, which is a shame because micro SDXC is a lot more expensive, well, more expensive than just a normal SD card. So basically what happens is you have to get an SDXC memory card, which is 64 gigabytes, no less than 64 gigabytes. And it's also a class 10 memory card. It has to be class 10 or will not work. I've gotten the SDHCs, class 10, 32 gigabytes. It does not work with this camera. It might work with the GoPro. I haven't tested it out yet, but you have to have an XDXC, which is 64 gigabytes or higher, which is a class 10 as well. Now also, I recommend getting the highest megabytes per second memory card because right now the Sony 4K camera, I think the only memory cards on the market right now in micro is like 90 megabytes per second and the 4K can be at up to 100 megabytes per second. So it's basically making it so that in the future you don't have to worry about anything. This camera is built for the future. You don't have to upgrade it anytime soon. Now there are plenty of manufacturers for memory cards for these cameras. PNY is a pretty good memory card for micro. SanDisk has a pretty good micro memory card and Sony also makes them as well. So whichever your option is, it's completely up to you. Just my recommendation is get the highest megabytes per second. Get yourself a good deal. You have to get a micro and make sure it's an SDX. C. That is very, very important or will not work with your camera and you're just going to waste your money. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about the XAVC S format. XAVC is Sony just creating something so they can make more money with memory cards? Is it actually writing better videos? Is it making better quality videos? 
I don't know. I'm pretty happy with my, um, my Sony 4K camera at the moment. I'm doing a lot of filming with it. Check out my comparison video. I made a comparison video with the GoPro Hero 4 Silver Edition. I think the Sony blows it away, but that's just one test. So don't call me a Sony lover because you guys know I love all of my action cams, my Sony and my GoPro. So these are the two Sony action cams that support the XAVC and XAVC-S functions. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit too. I'd like to ask you guys to please like this video, share it, and more importantly, please subscribe to my channel. It goes a long way with helping me create new content for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is BZH coming here from Big Zach's house. So today I'm gonna give you guys my list of my top three favorite action cams. All right. So as you can see, I currently own quite a few action cams from the GoPro models to the Sony models. So to go over my list of my top three favorite action cams, my third favorite of all action cams